Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Right now, we have a bit of a situation that's been going on with uh, Navy Sanji. We all know the company is not doing great in PR-wise. We all know that the company isn't great from within. Or at least that's what we've been seeing from all of the talents that have been leaving. All the talents that have had their bad moments, whatever you want to call them. This is one from Anna Alouette. Recently, Millie isn't doing well mentally. And now this, the company really doesn't give an F about their talents, mental health, SMH. Now, it could be that. Or it could just be that they're, they're being overworked. Here's what it says before we go into the, the comments that people are making. It's saying, hey, Alu peeps, I'm going to take a week or two off to properly rest because I haven't really stopped working the past couple of months. I'm really sorry uh, since I just kind of got back into the groove, but I think we need to start. I need to start make, taking better care of myself, my physical mental state. Rest all you need. Otsu otsu. Uh, it's OK, Anna. Rest as much as you want. Your health comes first. It's very true. Health does come first. Whatever criticisms we have about the company, health comes first. Now, right here, we'd say I'd wager the past few events like the performances, and whatever else is coming that the company is trying to speed run events and things to show off the rest of the qual during the rest of the quarterly reviews because quarter four is coming up soon remember that so quarter four is coming up soon we're doing great see how many events we got uh combined with the complete lack of support and resources not surprising that the talents are being worked harder than ever right now it's very true the rabid anti niji people who don't give an f about facts or context doesn't help like when she was harassed for punching a bird plushie or the antis who thought it stand in for doki but turned out to be oshi mark of another member not forget the anti <clears throat> she has that's obsessed with her oh dear lordy someone's obsessed with that part holy crap some people are really just too obsessed the only target that matters anything else is the livers where pushing their statistical data for the stock market it's only care they show yeah it's the only care they show and also of course i always try to criticize you know bad moves that are done in general of course bad moves that are done are bad moves that are done whether it be from a large indie sanji liver or a small indie if there are bad moves then they are going to get criticized and they deserve to be criticized always so Niji has reached the point every uh, where I need a break for mental health reasons is seen as one of the two reactions from the majority of the public. Style suspensions for something she did. Look, another person needs a break for mental health reasons. Niji really doesn't look after their employees. Very bad position to be in where, where the option to pick is bad. And yeah, I'm taking it as they are not taking care of their employees. They are not. They absolutely are not right now. They're not taking care of their employees. And that's what I try to push more than anything. I try to push the uh, employees doing uh whatever they can but also the company doing whatever they can to protect those that are under them <clears throat> it how dare a company do that to someone who's actually producing content for them actually doing and sometimes affecting their own health for content that they produce for them as if one wasn't enough as if one person wasn't enough to be hurt by nidhi sanji we have another one who recently talked about Oh, and anybody who wants their play button can just ask for it. We have Claude Clawmark, which is also running into issues. It says, doctor said it's overwork. He kind of excused my late night gaming hours, but said I can't do my tab out work. My tab out do work tab in the game type beat because it's counterintuitive and is messing with my mental, physical health too much. I'm okay -ish, by the way. Felt weird physically despite getting real well kind of sleep the past couple days. My brain's been hyper work mode because of responsibilities. And it sucks when there's a lot of hinges on your designs when a lot that hinges on your designs decisions sometimes also don't worry my coach toned down gym program so this one i don't know how to take it it could be you know responsibilities work responsibilities are getting too high for him maybe he wasn't used to he wasn't um prepared for all the stuff that happens when you go into an agency maybe it could be that the agency is just doing a really bad job at keeping the mental health up we don't know because this one is a little bit it seems a little bit less related directly to work and more directly to what they're doing on their own time but still um it is bad news to see this happen again and again do people tend to do the dumbest actions when they overwork is legit questions by the way not a bash towards them i'd assume being tired would lead to particularly good decision making yeah when you're tired like that it does not lead to best decision making i know because i've been tired a lot uh not not right now but you know in the past i have i was overworked and had sleep apnea constantly effed up at my old job given his gratitude he would easily overworked bro's convinced that the only thing between a liver and success is enough hard work he's working himself to death proving true frankly they could just ask speech was dumb but unless something worse is done and that i'm unaware of he doesn't deserve much more than a bit of mockery yeah it's mockery it's not hate like do not send him hate 
he is drinking the Kool-Aid, which is fine for a liver to be drinking the Kool-Aid of the company that they are working for. That is perfectly fine. But of course, especially right now that they have this moment, it shows really bad on Nidhi Sanji, but I do hope that they get better because they are a human being behind that mask. So yeah, if you wanted to break it, just got for it. Of course, he's going to get that. Of course, he's going to get that kind of hate right now. Man himself admitted unprompted that he'd been auditioning since the beginning of Last of Light. Think about that. He'd been trying to get into Niji for nearly three years. Finally succeeding on what to him was his ninth try. Something like that. Who feels that they finally reached what they've been dreaming of. Going reluctant to take a break now. But you're pretty easy to overwork and take advantage of management inclined. Yes, they can definitely be overworked. At least it's him tweeting. I know people aren't happy with the apostrophe theory. But it needs to be looked into some more. Sunday's latest tweets is the prime example. iPhones have a po have this apostrophe logic. X Livers and PL accounts uh, should not have at least one tweet about it. So yeah, this is more apostrophe gate. But I think this is actually them posting it. Uh, I don't think this in this case apostrophe gate even uh, has any kind of you know inkling on this whole thing. I just hope that he gets better and that he is able to uh, work his way through this. Not, you know, sleep his way through this and make sure that um, things work properly for him and that he gets all the rest that he needs. For all those not in the know, Hex Haywire was going to do a stream with his mother, if I'm not mistaken, an actual stream that was allowed through management, or at least everyone assumed it was allowed through management because it was, you know, actually announced and everything. And Millie didn't come out and say, did you make sure you got uh, approval from, you know, staff? Says, everyone, I'm so sorry. I have incredibly disappointing news. We can still do it. But it has to be pre-recorded. For now, I'm just changing the title of the stream and reviewing your project's art. Sorry to everyone still here for the hand cam. I'll be reviewing your birthday project's art for now. Mom and I may not have been able to cook yet, but you sicklings most definitely have. Uh, love trying not to effing so, not too effing sob, but it's all right. What's ours is ours. I'll just take a little bit longer. I know I posted this in another thread about this, but wait, what happened? So weird. I think anyone who does hand cams have never encountered anything like this before. Did you receive a confirmation OK sign from Madison before scheduling this stream? Of course. Wait, what happened? It's so weird. Everyone's doing the same thing. But I feel uh, it's going to light up a firestorm between dedicated fan base, the people who may not like him, but understand the frustration he's going through thanks to this, and the people who despise him because of him getting too into his character. So that's the thing that uh, people are going to have. There's, of course, going to be... A lot of negativity going his way because exactly of what he has done, what he has uh, said in the past. An EGN management making decisions at the last minute. Name a better duo. And here we have the other one. He had to actually put it on his Twitter because it's another NGL. What he says here is, I'm so sorry. I have incredibly disappointing news. The stream will have to be pushed back. It will still happen, but it has to be uh, pre-recorded. So sad and disappointed. I was excited to have mom speak to all of you going live to talk about it. From mom and hex with love it was going to be a cooking stream of course small propane cooking stream thing so it sucks for them of course uh need to just, just can't help it can they what happened today's his birthday so i'm guessing he had special hand cam stream planned featuring his mom and based solely on this tweet looks like management told him the last minute actually you can't have you doing this live you'll have to do a pre-recording he's live right now so might have more info I'd rather not watch the stream to find out, but I encourage you to not trust my words and confirm it for yourself. Meanwhile, you have hollow members bringing in their family members on stream to the point where actual fan art is made. Peko Mama would not have existed if it were not for that 1 million sub that Pekora did with the no, no, uh, the no Sagis. Nidhi Sanji have a pre-recorded fetish or am I missing something here? Yeah, it's all it all seems to be them wanting to do pre-recorded stuff, them wanting to do just that kind of thing. I don't know why. Uh, they are doing it that way. I really don't know why they would go through all that um, and then, you know, tell him, nope, not going to happen. You know, that's just really, really, truly messed up. I really don't like when companies do this. And I'm glad that Hololive isn't one of those. As you all know, I have in the past been where, like, where is Kotoka? Where is she going to be? What's happening to her? That kind of thing. <clears throat> Back in February, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was all the way in February 27th or something like that. Oh, 27th. Yeah, February 27th, I think, or February 17th, something like that. Sometime in February, she had mentioned that she went to a doctor, she went to a therapist, uh, and she decided to take a mental health hiatus, a break for her mental health to make the mental health a little bit better. Now, it's been just about close to three months. It's been like a little bit less than three months. I think in 10 days, it's going to be three full months where she has not been doing anything, where Kotaka has not been seen anywhere. And people are going to start worrying about that. Of course, people are going to have their uh, theories, of course. Because you have a person who was active and also has been known for doing negative things against um, Zion and things like that. At least not saying positive things about Zion. 
people are going to be kind of wondering what the heck is going on. So it is causing a whereas Kotoka situation. It's been around three months. However, it does seem that the hate and apparent F-ups are slowing down. Haven't seen anything against her specifically lately. Because since she hasn't done anything, no one has been able to criticize her. And for me, especially, just for me, I'm not talking about anyone else, but for me, when someone goes on a mental health hiatus, that is when I stop doing things. If they're going just because they're a little bit tired and they still mess up some stuff, then yeah, I'm going to go for that, maybe. In the sense of criticizing, talking about it, um, not, letting the, not letting it slide, in that sense, I'm not going to be a huge like drama person in the sense of like oh f them oh you know do this to them do that to them no i'm not gonna go with that i'm gonna criticize them if they have things to be criticized for of course kotoka is going on a mental health hiatus uh so i don't think it's right for anybody to be piling more on her she's either graduating or more likely being terminated say most likely is waiting for a contract to run out uh but she may be staying since she's fluent in jp and wouldn't survive the merge would survive the merge just have to see how all this plays out all I can hope is that she gets humbled and, and atones for her actions in some way after this. If she ends up being more problematic like Vox or Luca, then she absolutely destroyed her second choices. Exactly. If she comes back and she's like, you know what? I messed up in the past. I hope you guys can, you know, move forward. And I'm going to try to move forward as well. I apologize for anything that I did. You know, that type of thing. Then, of course, that is when people are going to be like, oh, well, this is a bit different. This is something new. And this is something that you can get behind. In a way, she's returning. She will terminate with the laundry list of reasons like Selena Zion. It's not normal for VTuber to take a hiatus for long periods of time. Hachama did, though. Hachama on Hololive. But we are talking about a different organization. Hachama, I think, took, some, took something like six to eight months of hiatus. It was an actual health hiatus. Uh, worst case scenario, she won't be able to bail out of Nidhi Sanji at all. No termination, graduation, or anything like Yuzuki Roa. And we'll be stuck with an indefinite hiatus for years to come. I hope that doesn't happen because that does affect a person's mental state. And of course, I'm just thinking about the human side. I don't care what it does to Nidhi Sanji. I could care less what it does to the company. What it does to the human behind the mask of the VTuber. That's what I care about. What happened? This is stuff that's happening right now. <clears throat> Speaking of which, any streamers interested in playing some Tekken early May? I've been able to practice play as much Tekken 8 as I would have liked in EVO Japan, but it's okay. It's been working really, really hard planning some awesome stuff with Sajam and BoxBox Box in the summer. Ooh, pick me, Vox Akuma. I'd love to have you on board. Uh, I'm a little sad that I can't participate and run it in the back in the Tekken event, but I'm sure there will be a next time. I gotta get good and reach red rank. Why was she not allowed? Is what a lot of people are asking. It would have been one of her chances to hit and talk to Doki Bird to be able to do something. Maybe since there are no... From what I'm seeing here, let me just make sure there are zero uh, Nidhi Sanji talents. I have a feeling that this is a snub from Nidhi Sanji. We'll send a squire away with an invite next time, no prob. Um, this seemed like Nidhi Sanji was was not uh, seen positively in this one. Kind of guess that Nidhi Sadoki was in and suggested that none of their talents could attend. Thankfully, they know who's more worthwhile. Clearly, it must be that Doki threatened Sajam to make uh, sure no Japanese VA could attend this event next year. Wait, oh wait, that's what Nidhi Sanji supposedly did. Uh, to WeebCon. Uh, wait, what happened? That's so weird. I think anyone who wants to be in tournament events have never encountered anything like this before. Did you receive confirmation no case sign and participate in the tournament for Manasan? That is Millie again. That is the Millie thing. Doki is in, therefore Niji pulls livers out. Probably a Doki in, Niji out situation, more likely. But Vivi would have been a good one because Vivi loves Selen. Vivi loves uh, Doki Bird. So, you know, there, I mean, that's why it's one of the She's one of the, the, the Oshis that she had when she joined besides Pomu. So it does suck for her. I do feel bad for her. Sucks about the situation even though I find it funny to see Vox is out. Disheartening to see that Vivi once again denied an event with her Oshi. And she did so well in the previous Tekken tournament too. I hate seeing some of them get straight L's because of Niji. I didn't see anything about Rosami here. But surely she must have considered joining in as well. And here we're going basically with the closer tweet. And it's probably blocked management from participating. Blocked by management from participating. Management's hatred of Doki has all subtlety of Godzilla having blank. The headcanon is that management refused Vivi and Rosemi from participating, and either Rosemi or Vivi told Sajam to include Ask Doki to participate in this. That or Bandai sent in the good word. I mean, Bandai seems to love Doki Bird, so it could be a good word thing. Doki will be in Sajam's Tekken 8 event this week. Oh, nice. Uh, funny thing is Vox Akuma was also interested in the tourney, but since Doki is in it, yeah, it's not going to happen. Sajam is going to send something for next time. More reason I despise the management so close yet so far. It's not our fault either. That's the thing. Vivi is not at fault. Vivi, as far as I know, has nothing negative going against them, except for the fact that some people don't like them being in Niji Sanji. And that can be valid, however you want to see it. But it really sucks when you can't be around your Oshi. That really sucks. We have 
another L, another thing that's going on with people trying to enjoy themselves, trying to enjoy their lives. Uh, React, which is uh, recently had a threat. Remember that the whole concert situation. Um, we have a situation now with Mia Mizugame. Uh, it's, uh, that's the way I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it Mia Mizugame in regards to things that were happening in uh, the, the, the stuff going on here. Uh, of course, um, according to things that are going here, uh, React official account starting today, Aquarius Mia will be suspended in her activities indefinitely. Um, it is sorry for the sudden hiatus. If you want to know why, check out this image. I'm sorry to everyone who supported me. I'd be happy to come back someday when I'm better. Uh, apparently, it's it's a health hiatus. It is um, also all in Japanese. Um, I hope it gets translated somewhere. Uh, it looks like it is a health hiatus related thing. Um, according to what I'm seeing from other people posting, I often felt that it was hard to see the comments and that I had to do a lot of other things. I managed to get through it by asking the management. That's what they're saying here. Got through by asking the management uh, and members to help several occasions. But I began to feel that I was reaching my limits. Being told I make assumptions about things I do not. Uh, being harshly criticized when I express my feelings and thoughts. Feelings I was being told I wasn't happy. Having uh, my personal excessive feelings and thoughts forced upon me. I told them over and over again I wanted them to stop. But they didn't get the message the people I want them to get. Since I don't, I can't tell them individually. I have to tell them as a whole. As a result, they feel that they are not being treated as human beings. And they feel that they're not being treated as human beings. Even when keeping quiet about things they think will happen to them. So I think it's just maybe mistreatment. I think it's mistreatment for the most part. It says layers and layers of, of lightness getting lighter and higher and in definition. Finally, I was not able to enjoy the activity and resulting in my own head being schooled. Basically, what's going on is that they're going on a mental health break, it looks like. Suddenly stopped updating my social networking sites, stopped distributing, and have caused everyone a lot of worry and has caused me to be a bit of a jerk. However, this does not mean that we do not feel sorry for them and therefore do not speak out and take action. Uh, for six years, I have been dealing with my own way, doing my best I could, even but even I have feelings. So yeah. It's basically um, wonder if those who thought it was just being private without lo looking around, thinking of taking my own feelings into consideration. It looks like it's it's a lot of a lot of just bad feelings going on. It looks like it's just a lot of bad feelings, and they go on with you know all the things that they have been going through, everything that they've been going through. The second page uh, moves on as we're we're showing here. Uh, I'm just gonna go over just an overview of what they're saying on the second page. Um, that basically gone without saying a word rather than, uh, so many reasons. I don't like what to say. Basically, this is all talking about unicorns from what I'm getting here. Uh, they're trying, they're saying that they're spending their activities indefinitely because of the way that unicorns are treating them the way that people out there are treating them, the mistreatment that's going on in regards to all of this. The reason it's not showing on screen is because I'm actually using Google lens. I'm using uh, Google Lens to take a look at everything that's going on and kind of giving you an idea. So I apologize if there's no actual translation. I'm actually physically using Google Lens to try to translate this thing as we're going because I don't know of any actual translations for this uh, that can go on, you know? Got, um, it, she prefer, they prefer instead of going out without saying a word to actually let people know that they're going to be suspending their activities. Uh, it, and basically have decided uh, when the hiatus is lifted, uh, they will not act anymore like everything's okay. They will not act anymore like everything is just fine. Um, but if there is no improvement on how things are going with their mental state or their state of, you know, people mistreating them or anything like that, they, um, they're going to not come back. Like they're, they're going to be most likely taking a mental health hiatus. They're going to be taking care of their mental health as much as possible. And they are going to do their best to make sure that they are good coming back but if things continue being the same they are not going to come back pretty much uh apologize for the uncertainty and uncertainty as to how long this will last for who, those who support us the suspension the sns youtube etc that have been placed will cease to be updated so they're going to continue being there because it's it's a suspension it's an indefinite hiatus whatever you want to call it it's for their mental health because they have been mistreated according to what this is saying but the youtube the sns uh twitter etc will remain the same just that there will be no updates for the June concert and other things that have been scheduled so far. Uh, things will still keep going. Uh, this person does not like inconveniencing people, of course. Um, but anything pre-planned is going to happen. Pretty much anything pre-planned is going to be ha happening. And uh, at the very end, this last page that we're going to, because uh, there's three pages. There's this one that I just went over. These two I just went over. And then there's this last page, which says that I apologize for the length of the report. But I thought I would tell you about my feelings, thoughts, and situation as much as I can. They're being very open. Of course, there are many people who support us in the peer frame, and we were often saved. It's not to say that some negative feelings over the wounds. Um, rather, I feel sorry for those who did. 
I'm sorry I can't find any words to say. If we resume our activities, we may change our previous style. So they might change their content style. Uh, you may end up hurting someone else by doing so. So basically saying, um, just don't do those types of things. Don't, you know, harass people. Don't do those types of things because you end up hurting someone that you may not have wanted to hurt. Or even if you did want to hurt, it is, um, it is definitely bad. You may end up hurting someone, but by doing so, hope you understand that I don't have much heart left to say kind words to you. And that probably won't change when the hiatus is over. So yeah, their hiatus is going to be indefinite. There is no planned ending of this hiatus. Um, they react. They probably talked to the react. They probably talked to the company and the company was like, okay, we're going to do this for you. When talking to people, when dealing with people, you always have to remember that they are human beings behind the mask and they are going to get hurt by things you say. So keep it under control. I try to do the same thing. I try to keep it under control and make sure that I don't go too crazy with things I say and don't breed any kind of negativity in the community. I try to do that at least. I try my best. We're going to talk a little bit more about stuff going on here. The big stuff going on is going to be Marine talking about a hollow management restrictions. They do it to protect us, according to her. Um, she says in a stream five days ago and just a clip about it, Ichimi asked Marine uh, about whether it's suffocating for a hollow management system. Her answer is it's suffocating sometimes, but they do it to protect us. Can't help but laugh when Marine said, I get that management doesn't get mad at me to just to bully me. They're not like being like, let's give Marine a rough time by not letting her do what she wants. It's more, it's risky, Marine. If you do that, your channel could get deleted. I mean, there's no way management who got paid to support the talent so talent can make money will bully the talent just because, right? If there was a management exists, I'm sure management is, is so stupid. Talking about, of course, about Nidhi Sanji, who seems to really like bullying uh, their talents. Of course, this is a two minute clip of uh marine saying the things that we just mentioned here let's see what marine says yeah that's true キムがつくって思ったとしても思うこともあるよ。なんでこんな言われなきゃいけないんだって思ったとし思ったこともあるけどでもよくよくよくよかとか考えてみた。別にマリンに意地悪をするためにそういう怒ってるわけじゃないん
It's 10 hours of just signing cards. They keep speed consistent, gotta space it out. Even then, it must be rough on the arms and hands. It is. In Hollow, there are two types of signed merch, hand sign and mass produce, foil stamped. Hand signed merch is offered in limited quantities, most commonly with complete birthday set purchases. They're usually sold out within minutes after the merch goes live. Foil stamped ones, on the other hand, do not have such limits. It's up to the talents to decide which ones they wish to do, and I would assume they also decide the quantities. Shiori, for example, had foil stamped birthday merch while Fomoko had hand-signed limited editions. As extreme example, Kali actually had unlimited hand-signed merch for her latest birthday. That is dangerous. That can lead to Carpal Tunnel and all these things. They signed it one by one. Pekoda always did a membership stream in the past where doing it by herself was boring. Smart girl, indeed the mass merch signing sounds like a miserable a a task. Obligatory bow bow. Uh, it's indeed hand-signed. You can see it much clearer in their post. Uh, yeah, who the hell came up with that by hand? Disgusting. And um, here we go. You can see it much clearer here as they're saying. Yeah, fuawa, bao bao. Yeah, they're, they're just hand signing everything. Wow, that's a lot of signing. Make sure to get the rest of your paws well, to rest your paws well. Can't wait to get mine. Definitely treasure them always. And uh, Matara Khan always does uh, autograph prints and memorabilia as well. And uh, she has done streams where she is signing her own stuff. So she also does it that way. And that's really crazy. I mean, that anybody would do this, of course, because of course Luca doesn't do it, or at least his are foil stamped, which is fine too. Everyone does foil stamped. But the Bao Bao needs to take care of themselves because that can absolutely lead to Carpal Tunnel and other issues. Here's more meme times with a pro tip for event organizer. Uh, want to avoid Niji without saying it aloud? Just invite Doki Bird and Sayu. Yes, of course. Once you invite Doki Bird and Sayu, uh, Niji Sanji will not go. Uh, what a genius idea to avoid saying the N-word. I hope they... Hey, do this. Niji Sanji became another N-word. Oh, God. That's not good. Uh, promo show ain't going so well, is it, Miss Pandora? Today, my sister, uh, Selene, will show you the terms of being, the, the, the perks of being a Niji Sanji. Oh, excuse me, everyone. Uh, there must be a, been some error made during the section of the video. We'll be back. Uh, we'll be back. Weird vibe, bro. So then it appears on the screen looking depressed. Oh, uh, excuse me, everyone. Uh, there must have been an error made in the selection of the video. We'll be back momentarily. Sorry for the professionalism. Uh, they're not sorry. They're absolutely not sorry. But yeah, it's not going well. And here we have the big three competent VTuber uh, CEOs. We have Yago. They're known as the big three. Yago, Sakana, and Gunrun. It looks like if I'm mistaken. They are the big three. The Holy Trinity of Competent VTubing. It's too early for FaZe, in my opinion, to be on the list. You can call them competent after they got hit by controversies and merged again from the Rebels. Fair point, they're much younger cover than in any color. However, it's important to note that three years, they've only had one termination compared to a competitor such as Idol Co., who has been operating for two years and have had five graduations and one termination. He's capable of handling really interesting characters, though. Absolutely. All right, we have another win for Doki, besides all the wins that she's been getting lately. Uh, Nokia invited uh, Throw to the Nokia Apex Legend Invitational Tournament, first ever esports event over Wi-Fi. Join us as top gamers and rising stars compete in this event. They invited her to the tournament as a captain. I wonder who's going to be on the team. Yes, you guys have to wait and find out. So she's getting win after win after win, W after W after W. This person, this woman, who thought she was unmarketable, because of what Niji Sanji told her, because of the way Niji Sanji made her feel, she felt unmarketable. Right here, you can see that she is very marketable. N Nokia is giving her a lot of wins. And because of this, there's no need for her to move on to another company. There's no need for her to go to Vishojo or Mythic Talents or any of those places because she has it already in the bag. She's already seeing all these, these benefits, these wins, these wonderful things. Doki Pokemon Trainer collecting sports arc. Uh, I guess Niji is going to, not going to be in this tournament, so congrats. Doki better get a lot of boxes of 3310s so she can forge an armor for herself. Because 3310s were, were seen as indestructible. I feel a talent with management backdoor, which is salty of other people getting more pieces of the pie naturally. The pie is humongous, effing share it. But now it's too late, so I hope they enjoy the crumbs. I love her smug smile face. They were so upset you forgot a letter. Her being called that boggles the mind. Uh, Hollow Live, they'd be happy to market her. Undesirable to undeniable. I hope other talents are seeing this and starting to question this. Exactly. They should all see that they are marketable. They should all see that they are someone that can be pushed to positive things, pushed to a higher light, pushed to a higher place, and made to shine if they are allowed to. If Nidhi Sanji actually allowed them to shine, then they would, of course, shine. But, of course, they're, they're not being allowed to. They're not being allowed to. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.